Tony D and Little Joan and Guest Dog in the background. And this is a screenwriter's rant on The Passenger from Paramount Movies and Bloomhouse. Um, don't want to mess up the, uh, the trailer for you. They actually have a little bit of a surprise in the trailer. Um, but it's about a guy who gets roped in. Uh, really, he's held hostage, and he's forced to participate in gruesome murders. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 11, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, uh, one day his co-worker just goes nuts and kills everybody in the fast food place I think it, this guy and then the other guy I think his name's Randy is forced to go along and he's basically held hostage by him as he commits all these horrible murders and he doesn't just go after you know people they know he, he goes after Randy's enemies and he's determined to make Randy I don't know some kind of man in the process it's kind of an interesting take on the whole psycho killer kind of thing. Called The Passenger, August 4th. Um, because on the one hand, this guy is obviously messed up. But on the other hand, there's this weird sort of thread in him that makes him want to help Randy. Because Randy is that pathetic. So, like, he's walking around the fast food joint killing everybody, and Randy's just paralyzed with fear, just standing there crying, waiting for him to get the hit. And the guy decides, I'm not going to kill you. You're going to come along with me, and I'm going to fix you. Because part of what makes me so angry is to see how pathetic you are. That's kind of an intense pitch. That's kind of an interesting character. I mean, even though he's a total psychopath. Um, so, wow. So first act, uh, and, and again, I can't help but ruin the surprise in the trailer for you, but, uh, the first act is probably they show up at this woman's house, former teacher of her, his, that he maybe blames for making Randy the way he is. Uh, because the the psycho guy just probably is relentlessly grilling him, and Randy has no other choice but to answer. And uh, and then in flashback, maybe we see this horrible murder where he just goes in and kills everybody in the fast food joint except for I think he says Bradley on his his name's Ben Benso and says Bradley. Oh, maybe it's Bradley. Uh, and then he doesn't kill him, forces them to go on this crazy trek, and thus they're off in America's heartland. And so it's a little bit like, you know, one of those movies you might have saw in the 70s where people go on a crime spree and then they just take off in their car and everybody's looking for them, but they can't be found. So in the process, I think he forces... Bradley or Randy to confront various people in his life who made him angry because he doesn't want he doesn't this guy doesn't want the anger to end in a in a weird way so it's a weird hostage situation and um, I think this might be Randy's mom or grandma Another person in Rand, uh, Bradley or Randy's life that, you know, the psycho seems to have messed him up. They may take this teacher hostage, I'm not sure. And so it's about, will Bradley finally man up and escape this guy and kill him? And I think, I think at the end, here, here they are beating up the vice principal. I don't know if they kill him there. Um... I think at the end, he eventually does to save the teacher. I think that's going to be the climax of the movie. Solid premise. 
It's really, really intense. Um, you know, it's one of those deals where it's, I think it works because the stakes are so low. And the, you know, you're not going to have a sequel to this. <laughs> this is it. This is it. The, the, you know, this guy on the right probably dead. Either by Bradley's hands or the cops. And, um, you know, it, he, he is forever changed. Um, and then it also has something about probably some sort of message about masculinity, right? Like, they're both sort of the opposite ends of the spectrum. On the other, on the one hand, the guy on the right is, you know, too aggressive. Uh, but Bradley or Randy is not aggressive enough. And then uh, through him, he he finds his manhood again, and I think probably kills the psycho dude. I would totally say this. It looks interesting. Uh, the performances look intense. And it's not... Like, I, I normally I hate movies about crazy psycho killers. They're just usually bad. The characters aren't interesting. This one, I think this character is kind of interesting. Because... The problem with a lot of psycho killers is a lot of people, the way they're written, they just they don't have any redeeming qualities. They're just sadist. See, this guy has some sort of mechanism going on in his brain just beyond he's going to kill people. He's doing it for reasons. Now, those reasons are messed up, but they're there, and that's what makes his character have more depth than your average, like, well, I'm just going to kill and torture people kind of guy. Uh, so it's called The Passenger. Here, Here's the write-up. Oh, it is Randy. Oh, okay. So I get it. That's further emasculation of Randy that he has the wrong name tag on. <laughs> Randy uh, is perfectly content fading into the background, but when his co-worker Benson uh, goes on a sudden violent rampage, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake, Randy is forced to face his fears and confront his troubled past to survive. Yeah. On digital and on demand, August 4th. I may very well uh, check this out. Directed by Carter Smith. Written by Jack Stanley. Starring Kyle Gallner, Johnny Berktold, and Lisa Well? Yeah. Looks good. Looks like a solid script. This is, this is the kind of thing... You know, it's a good premise because you don't have a lot of characters... The story has to end, right? The story can't end to be continued. The story can't go into a sequel. This is a one-shot deal. And that, to me, makes it very appealing. Um, it forces the, the screenwriters and the filmmakers to end the damn thing. And they're going to put their best foot forward. They're not going to save anything for the sequel or anything, right? Uh, so this is going to be... And the low stakes, again... Uh, that famous quote from Henry Kissinger, university politics are so vicious because the stakes are so low. When the stakes are this low, and but, but in a weird way, they're high. So, yeah, I would totally watch this. It's called The Passenger. Uh, look for it August 4th. I don't think it's going to be a pleasant movie, uh, but I think it may have some things to say. Anyhow. That's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan, and Guest Dog, somewhere in the background. I'm going to be at Vinyl Brewing tonight in Hamilton, New Jersey. It's going to be a nice night. I'm going to tell you all about the Jersey Devil. Hope you come by, and we'll see you in the next one.